the difficult task of looking for survivors. This is what is left in the city of Palu after Friday's magnitude 7.5 earthquake and tsunami. Rescue workers frantically trying to find those who may still be alive. Search efforts are being hampered by blocked roads and a collapsed bridge. Rescue teams dug by hand to free 24 people trapped in the rubble of this hotel. The owner told local media people could still be heard crying out for help, but no heavy lifting equipment was available. Dozens remain missing in the city of over 300,000. Those who did survive the quake and tsunami that followed now have to try to live off anything they can find. Scenes like this of people looting local shops and siphoning petrol from cars are becoming the norm, as aid is very slowly coming in. Many injured are being evacuated, but the Red Cross estimates that more than 1.6 million people have been affected. There are particular concerns about the nearby town of Dongala, where the impact is still unclear. Dongala is home to over 270,000 people, but there has been no communication with anyone there since Friday afternoon. The Indonesian president is visiting Palu to assess the damage and reassure the people that more help is on the way. But for now, bodies continue to fill the streets of Palu, and anxious survivors are being warned not to return to their homes as aftershocks continue. Dorsa Jabari, Al Jazeera.